Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Yo Adrian and today we're going to be taking a look at Open Rails Train Simulator. Uh, this is not like your average train simulator. This is actually a free game. Yeah, you heard me right. It's actually a free train simulator, but there is a catch. It's a lot different than any other train simulator that you probably have played or that I have actually played on this channel. So, I'll have a link down in the description below of the website and stuff for the BNSF Scenic Sub, which is what we're going to be kind of looking at today, as well as the Open Rails uh, file and stuff. So, once you go ahead and hit Open Rails, you will get this screen popped up here. Now, if you know what Microsoft Train Simulator was back in the day, this is basically that. Um, it's free, whereas Microsoft Train Simulator was uh, like payware, but it's basically the exact same concept. I believe it's the exact same game, if I'm not mistaken, but I know it's like very, 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 very similar to that game. But, like I said, once you go ahead and open up the program or the game, you'll come up to this screen here. It'll say installation is open rails, the root. The starter one is BNSF Scenic Sub. If you did not download the Scenic Sub, nothing will be popped up over here. So they're two separate downloads on the same website, basically. And I'll have them both linked down in the description. Now, this isn't going to be like one of those um, like train simulator episodes that I do. This is kind of going to be more of like introducing open rails to the channel and stuff like that. Because like I said, it's very, very, very different. And I want to see if you guys actually do enjoy it before I do anything. Because this is more of like a uh, compilation style video where like it's a rail fanning compilation or something like that. It's not actually like point and shoot scenario like we normally do like with train some world or train some 2019 or 2020 basically so so with that being said once you download the bnsf scenic sub and um open rails you will have two different or three basically three different scenarios for it you will have an explore route um which is basically like you're just kind of exploring the routes um with the bnsf locomotive now you will get only one locomotive a ES44AC or a C44-9W. I'm assuming it's an ES44AC. So you could do that. You could also explore an activity mode. So you basically just pick where you want. You got Seattle, Wenatchee, and Winton to Seattle. And then pick what consist you want. You get grain or you get double stacks, which is like an intermodal train. Then you have two different scenarios, an eastbound and a westbound. Uh, the eastbound is a grain empty. So you'll be taking the es 44 locomotive um taking it this is the one that we're going to be showing you guys on in the game so your task is take an empty grain train to win at you on this rainy fall evening and then there's a westbound double stack with heavy eastbound traffic your task is to take a westbound double stack from when to seattle everett so like i said we're going to be taking the eastbound grain empty now like i said with explore mode you can pick what you want to do any locomotive you get two um gvos basically two different locomotives two different numbers it's not like auto numbering like in train sim would be you just get the two and then you pick which consist you want pick where you want to go time uh season weather all that fun stuff so like i said we'll go ahead and do the grain empty one um you got some different stuff here you could do window mode logging i want to do full screen so we'll do full screen instead um and what's really cool about this game is that there's actually multiplayer so if you guys know what run 8 uh, train simulator is it's almost i don't want to say it's almost similar it's actually a lot different than run 8 but it's got the multiplayer like feature to it so we can actually go ahead and play this with other players and whatnot now i've actually been looking at a couple different videos of open rails and i kind of have some different ideas of what i want to do but let me be the first to say this is that with open rails yes the game is free the launcher is free the bnsf scenic sub is free but there is payware in the game as well. So even though it's free, yes, but there is also some payware routes and locomotives and rolling stock and sounds and stuff like that. So some of it is payware. But today we're actually just going to be doing single player. So we could actually do multiplayer as well. I don't have Wi-Fi, so I can't. So we'll go ahead and do single player. Let's go ahead and start this up and see what we got. All right. So here we are in game. And like I said, that it was completely different is that this is basically the view that you are going to get. You're not going to get the uh, full cab um, experience like we do in Train Sim World or Train Simulator 2020. Basically, this is all you got. You can go down. You can do the brake or the throttle and the reverser. 
look out the right side window and then you can look at the conductor side basically that's the only views you got go up and down um, not much to it basically um, so you can't actually use like the controls in the locomotive unfortunately but you can do it off the keyboard so as you see there it says reverse or forward and then it'll say like brake uh, release and whatnot I don't remember what the actual keys are to be honest with you uh, but yeah that's basically it um here's a look at what we got going on today our BNSF ace check it out it looks actually kind of cool uh, the camera like angles and stuff uh, the camera basically the FOV and whatnot is kind of very very difficult to use so you got light on even though it's the cab light so there's the headlights dim and then they are bright so you don't get ditch lights on the dim and get them bright but yeah the cab light or the um, FOV and stuff is very very like difficult to use if you're trying to make like a thumbnail or whatever basically but we get a couple different views you got your cab your outside front you got outside rear, which we got a couple BNSF like different uh, hopper cars on. You got trackside camera, which is probably a better one. Um, and that's pretty much it. And you got a brakeman view, which is basically the steps of the locomotive. And then you have a free room, which is this. So this one's a little bit better if you're trying to make thumbnails. And it's actually, I believe it's eight. Yeah, it's eight on the keyboard. So this one will be a lot better if you're trying to make thumbnails for the game. And whatnot. So we're actually, like I said, we're not going to be going like point to point today. We're just kind of going to be showing off the game a little bit. What you can do, what you can't do. And that's basically it. But yeah, as so you see here, we got your two locomotives, 58, 52, and then 58, 17. Now I believe it was 50, 47, 23, which was the Microsoft Train Simulator one, which we don't see in this one. But that's basically it with the game and everything. Um, I don't remember exactly what the brake was, to be honest with you. That's the throttle. Standard's what I don't want. Wipers I do want. Bell we got. Uh, and then if anything, you do have a menu here where you can go to save your game, continue playing. And here we are. You hit F1 and you'll get like a whole, a whole list of um, different controls and whatnot. Um, the sad part is there's no scrolling. You're going to actually have to like click down and stuff. So I kind of forgot what the brake switch was or to release the brake. All right. So train brake decrease is going to be the semicolon. Okay. That makes sense. And then, okay. I got this now. So the semicolon. Let's apply. Let's release. Turn the bell on. We actually have like some actual realistic horns in this one. Um, we got the, uh, we're about to start moving here. You can kind of see a little bit. There we go. We got our locomotive moving. Let's go ahead and get on a different view here. Uh, make sure our headlights are on and whatnot. Okay, that's, yeah, that's a little bit of a different view for us. But yeah, that's pretty much the game. Um, like I said, this is more for like compilation style videos and whatnot, so our headlights are on. Perfect. But yeah, that is pretty much that. And then it's D to increase the throttle, A to decrease the throttle. And what's kind of cool about this is that like with your throttle being in notch 2, it'll exactly tell you like what mile per hour you will kind of go to. So like an estimated speed of what you're going to go to within that range. Which isn't something that's like prototypical real life in a actual like train that I don't think it is. At least I've never seen it before. But yeah, this is pretty much it. You can't really look around in the cab. You only kind of go the three different views it's got in the cab. So it's not really a game to be played just like this. Um, this is more, like I said, compilation style and whatnot. So if you guys do want to see more of this kind of stuff, let me know what you guys do want to see in open rails, like rail fanning type stuff videos. Just because I do want to show some stuff off and we'll show off some different locomotives. I know they have charger locomotives for this game, as well as trains and new eras. So we'll kind of take a look at that kind of stuff too and whatnot. But as you see here, we're kind of getting up to track speed here. I don't really know what the track speed is, to be honest with you. But we do got, a, it looks like a clear indicator. I uh, can't tell, you can't really zoom in in the cab either. 
So that's kind of really the only thing that sucks about this game is the camera views, and you can't really do much in the cab. But there's more stuff to do in this game with like compilations and like cinematics and stuff like that, which to me is kind of cool. So what we'll kind of might just start doing that? But it looks like we're got an advanced approach signal. Um, like I said, not gonna do this too much longer. It's kind of more of like a showcase into the game. Physics and whatnot are somewhat kind of realistic. As you see here, we're going 27, but then it shows that we're estimated to go 11 miles an hour. So it's not really, you know, um, it doesn't really up, up contradict itself, basically, is what I'm trying to say. It doesn't really like show up on itself. Because now it's showing we're going supposed to go 7, but we're actually going 30 on an advanced approach signal and whatnot. Signaling in this game is kind of different, too. But yeah, that's pretty much the game, guys. Um, let me know what you guys do want to see in open rails. I'm, I'm trying to like find more mods and stuff like that other than this one. Just so we can kind of do some like checking out and whatnot. Let's just go ahead and put our train into an emergency brake. Not emergency, but let's go ahead and release the brake. Or apply the brake. There we go. As you can see here with the brakes on, we're estimated to go 54 miles an hour, which isn't really legit. Come on, guys. That's really not legit. So now it's estimating us going 60, 70 when the um, max speed on this locomotive is 70. But now it's estimating at 76, so come on. <laughs> come on. Alright, well, yeah, that's pretty much the game, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me, like I said, let me know if you guys want to see more uh, train sim or uh, open rails on the channel and uh, let me know your comments below as well as if you guys are on discord let me know the comments in discord as well um, make sure you guys follow me on twitter follow me on instagram join the discord server like i said hit that like button if you did enjoy hit that dislike button if you didn't enjoy that kind of going to give me like a kind of a rundown on if you want open rails or not will be like the likes and dislikes or the ratio between the two so yeah make sure you guys do that drop a comment and hit that subscribe button if you're brand new and you enjoy the content. But that's all I got for you guys. That's it. Take care.